Hello and welcome to Physical Geology here at Gavilan College. My name is Robert Lopez and I'm your instructor for this course. This hybrid course, we do the lectures online and then we meet on Fridays on campus for the labs. Orientation that I'll kind of guide you through how to get to the Canvas page and how to start looking at the assignments and going through the syllabus. But the key thing is once you get to the Gavilan College webpage, you want to log in up here. That'll take you to the secure access login for your portal. Then you would enter your student number, your GU number, and then followed by the password. Since I already have mine saved, saved in here. But once you get into your GU number and your password, you log in. And then this should take you to a welcome page where you'll have access to email. And then uh, you will probably see student up here, but since I'm a faculty, I usually just go over here to faculty. When I go to faculty, it'll take me to this page, and this is where I can reach iLearn. And iLearn is where we're gonna see the, the online courses. And so I don't know if there's a different way for you to reach this, but uh, this is where we're gonna get to our Canvas course page. Here, once we get to Canvas, you'll go to your, you'll have your dashboard, right? So you'll see your account. You, you, if you have a picture, you'll see your picture, right? You'll have your dashboard and your dashboard should show all the classes that you're teaching. So here it just shows the taught, the class I taught last semester. Then this is our class here, Geology 1, Intro to Geology, Lecture Lab, Fall of 2019. Uh, you'll see that on your dashboard, you should see what to do in the next few days. So you can see that we have some assignments due by this Friday. Uh, really, the one you're gonna, you need to focus on is this pre-lab quiz that I want you to do before class on Friday this week, August 30th. You want to make sure you have that done. And also, uh, there is a lab assignment we're doing this Friday, and there's some files I posted on Canvas for you that you'll need to print and bring to class. Now, the other thing before we go on to our classroom is that in this dash, this inbox is important. And the inbox is where we have the Canvas email. And so the best way to communicate with me is through the Canvas email. And you click on this in, uh, on this inbox, and then you can send me emails. Because I'm always on Canvas, I'm doing grading, I'm editing, I'm always on Canvas every day. So the best way to communicate with me is through Canvas because I'll see it right away and I'll get back to you within the same day. So again, let's go back to our dashboard. And so we'll click on our course, and it should take you to the home page. And you'll see in the home page, I have a little, you know, some pictures of field trips I've taken with other classes here at Gavilan College. And you see the textbook that's required. And then we do have a lab manual because we have a bunch of labs. We have literally 15 labs that we'll be doing on campus uh, at the Gavilan College. And so you need to buy this lab ma manual. And this is one that I've produced and, I, and I've produced it based on the samples, minerals, rocks, uh, different equipment that I have that I'll bring to campus. And I, and I bring this material to campus every week, and then I have to take it back to uh, the college where I get it from. So I only have it for that week. So one of the things that I want to emphasize here is that you cannot make, uh, make up labs. So once you miss a lab, you can't make it up because all that equipment that I brought to class is gone. And then the next week I bring something else. And also another big part of this course is you must pass the lab with a, with a grade of 70% or better to get a C or better in this class. So if you miss more than three labs, you, you're not going to be able to pass this course. And again, you cannot make up these lab assignments. So you need to get your schedule organized because we're meeting every Friday, except for the Thanksgiving weekend, <laughs> every Friday from 2 uh, to 5.15. You know, this is a, the real big time commitment for this class is that you have to be there for the labs because it's a, it's a one-shot deal. Note that this lab manual is available at, at the Gavilan College Bookstore. I should have it ready by Tuesday and drop it off there. So certainly if you want to go on Wednesday or Thursday or Friday morning before class, you should be able to buy the book there. And it should be only about, about $20, I think. Um, I'm not sure how much the markup is at the bookstore. The next part here is looking at the syllabus. So I clicked on the syllabus tab and I've emailed you this syllabus already. So you've, you've gone through it and there's some details here about the course book where you can actually get a, a ebook version for a pretty good deal. The bookstore should have the bookstore as well. So maybe you can get a good used textbook. I want you to read through this uh, because there is a syllabus quiz that's due on Sunday, September 1st, based on some of the materials. And one of the big questions that's worth three or four points is this question about passing the class with 70% of all labs and how. So you want to make sure you read this and understand the commitment of Fridays that you have to be there for the lab. And then also note that since most assignments are due Sunday nights, that's mostly the lecture material, like the textbook quizzes 
or maybe I have you do some discussion forums. So those are due Sunday nights, but the pre-labs are due before class on Friday. So make sure you get those done because every week there'll be a pre-lab. It's a Canvas quiz, and it's, that quiz is really based on this um, tutorial you'll go through. And I'll show you how. Yeah, now, well, in fact, here it is, the lab tutorial you'll go through. And it's a series of little slides you'll go through and maybe answer some questions in there. And then you take that pre-lab quiz, and then you come to class, and then we do the labs on Friday. So, you're, so everyone's kind of prepared and know what we're doing that week. Due dates are final. Uh, and I do have a little bit of latitude in terms of some of the Canvas quizzes. I'm, you know... I know we're all busy. Communicate with me. Let me know. I'll be checking up on you either online or certainly on Fridays when I see you to see how you're doing and keep you um, up to date. Kind of give you the courteous nudge there to, to move forward and complete the assignments. But I, you know, talk to me and I, I, do, I, I do have some latitude on, on that as well. The only thing that we, I really can't move on or, or give you any, any time on, extra time, is are the lab assignments. So you really have to come to labs on Friday. Again, emphasizing that. For Canvas quizzes, note that they're not timed, and I give you two attempts. Yeah, I give you two attempts on these quizzes, and I take the better of the two. So, so certainly read through the book, read through the assignments, take the quiz. Even if you do poorly on it, at least you've taken it, you've seen it, go back, re review your reading assignments, a textbook, take it again, and, and you'll always get the better score for the quizzes. So everyone should be getting B's or A's on these quizzes, right? So you'll see that this is going to amount to a, a quite a number of points for this for this course. So that's a good way to keep your, your grade up by doing all these quizzes. For the exams, note that here that you only get one attempt. I don't time them, so you have plenty of time to do it. Uh, note that we'll have four exams, and I have the, the dates here when they're due. The first date exam is due on October 8th. And note that the final is not comprehensive. It's just, it's just the last few chapters that we do in class, right? Note that we will have discussion forums either in where you're posting your ideas about an article that I have you read or you'll read an article and you'll do a quiz called Science and Society where there are some of the some short answer essay questions. So that's part of the writing assignments. And I'll be making comments on those as we go along. Here's the approximate grading. Note 450 points for quizzes, right? So that's a big chunk of the quizzes. And also labs, big part of the course as well. If you need uh, accommodations, just let me know. You can go to um, uh, the Gavilan College DRC and uh, they can contact me. Uh, although, remember, I, I don't time anything, so you have plenty of time to, um, to do these, these quizzes on your own at home. And we do have mineral quizzes and rock quizzes in terms of identification of samples in class. You'll have to kind of deal with that because I don't, I really can't send those off to the DRC and have you take them there. So you'll have to take those in class. Maybe um, we can talk about that more uh, once, once class starts. But we do, we do have some lab practicals, lab quizzes that we do in terms of identification of, of samples. Uh, fossils even, right? Veterans, you, you, uh, let me know if you need any accommodations. I'm, 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 I can help you with, with um, whatever you need. And then in terms of this course, 68 hours per week. And that's just for the lecture part, right? So remember, for a college science course, you're meeting three hours per week. Plus, for every hour, hour, you should be spending about an hour and a half of homework, right? So that should be at least three to five hours at home. So here I say those three to five hours plus the three hours you're supposed to meet. So that's the six to eight hours. So you do want to put the time in here, and that'll ensure that you get a good grade. You can go to the Gavilan College Distance Learning homepage and kind of read about some of the resources they have there. And then again, I'll get back to you within 24 hours, usually the same day if you're working in Canvas here through the inbox over here. You can kind of read through this, more academic policies here, some materials that you'll need. And I do have the schedule here. So another important part here is you go down to the bottom of the syllabus, you'll see that there's a list of all the assignments that are due for the whole semester. In fact, pr I pretty much have this course ready to go. I think there's one more quiz I have to add somewhere near the end here, but pretty much it's all set up here and you can see your whole due dates uh, for the entire course all the way to the final here, which is uh, December 13th. You're responsible for anything that has a due date on it here. Now for the modules, you'll see that it's set up into terms of chapters. There's each module is weekly, so there's chapter one due September 1st, which is Sunday, although we're doing the lab here on August 30th, the Friday, right? And then chapter two, September 8th. Chap uh, uh, in fact, we're doing, we're doing two weeks of plate tectonics because it's a big chapter. It's a really important 
part of geology. Again, it's the foundation for the geological sciences. So we're doing two weeks of that, two different labs on there. But then we do the minerals on the 22nd. We move on to igneous rocks, uh, volcanoes, and so on throughout the whole semester. You'll find that each module, right, each of these headings, each tab has a learning guide. And this learning guide is basically the checklist. You want to click on that. You'll probably want to print this out and, and, um, and check it off to make sure you've completed all these assignments for this week. For the first two weeks, I think, I provided the textbook in terms of a PDF. And so if you don't have your textbook yet, wait, yet or if you're waiting on, on some funding to come through to buy your textbook, I have provided some, some of the reading material here for, for the first couple of weeks, right? So you'll need that in preparation for this for the quizzes right so i have the prelude re and chapter one reading quizzes that are due on on sunday so i have provided those for you here and then the next thing we'll look at is that this will be followed by here's that syllabus quiz you want to take that by september 1st but then you'll see that every module every every topic that i cover has a series of online lectures and what's really important about these online lectures this is basically the the lecture part of the course you want to look at these or it's my youtube channel you want to take notes on these because the material i cover in these videos goes on to the exams right so the exams are based primarily on you taking notes from this these video lectures and they're all less than about 15 minutes 14 minutes um, so you can do them in short short segments at a time and then you'll find that uh, after each online lecture series, I have a series of study questions. For this one, this is for Chapter 2, Plate Tectonics. I don't really have one for Chapter 1, but for Chapter 2, which will be on the exam, you'll see that I have these study questions. And so you'll want to answer these, and you'll find the answers to these questions will be primarily in my video lectures, right? And then I choose questions from these, and I put them on the exam. So you should be in good shape if you can answer all these study questions. So again, for the first week, you're going to want to go through this lab intro here. You want to re review this before you do the pre-lab quiz. So when you click on this, it should be this tutorial. And you just kind of follow the directions here. Read through the, the tutorial. Here we talk about, in fact, I'll, I do this in my video lectures, talk about the origin of the universe and the solar system, the early Earth. Uh, and then you can start answering some of these questions. And make sure you answer them here and get them correct because... I literally take some of these questions and I put them on the, on the pre-lab quiz, which is worth points, right? So you want to go through these. At the end of this, at least for this first week, when you get to the assignments and procedures down here, I do want you to print this exercise out, as well as the, the lab workbook over here, and bring those to class on Friday because some of you will not have the lab manual this week. The first lab out of that manual will be um, the second week of classes. So, but you want to bring this and we'll be working on that. Uh, in class this week. All right, well, let's stop here for now and I'll see you on Friday and make sure you get the pre-lab quiz due completed before class on Friday.